Hello! Welcome to our channel. Right, I'm back in Stirling. For those of you who know, and keep up with the channel, know that I've not been in Stirling, I was in London. Swindon. And London. So we're back, and it's amazing how the undergrowth has grown! I nearly couldn't get up here today, but let's... You'll find out and see, I, I've walked up here. Look how... Look at the, look at the nettles. Incredible. Just like... Because I haven't been here for like a couple of days. And the whole place has got like totally overgrown. I don't think there's that many people walk up here. Now look. It's amazing how nature just goes, fuck yeah, we're going to grow. Look how amazing that is. I keep like going for my leg because... Between like brambles and uh, nettles, thorny things. But you know what? It makes you feel. Uh, well, it makes me feel good to get in amongst the um. You can hear uh, in amongst the uh, uh, nature, the greenery and everything. I think it, it makes me feel better about my life and stuff. It's, it, it probably releases some kind of, you know, pheromones or something in the head. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it does. So I would recommend, uh, if you're not feeling great, to, to go out and get in, into the countryside. Uh, it's easy for me because I'm living sort of near it. Anyway, so I'm back from my trip from down south and one thing that struck me as soon as I got back to Scotland was just how pathetic Scotland is. It's just, it's terrible. And you see it, I've always seen it when I've been away, right in England. Uh, you get So what's happened in Scotland in the last four years or five years, it's went woke. And it's like, I mean... It's went to a level of stupidity. You know, like, so you get to Edinburgh. Well, as soon as I got to Scotland, there's coppers at the railway stations. Right? That, that's a, a thing that I noticed right away. Each railway station in Scotland, you know, that was. God, this is getting tricky. Oh, fuck, nettles. I uh, had coppers. And I was thinking, oh, is there like a football match on or something? You know, is that. Ah, you bastard! Go stung. Ah, you bastard. Um, so what you do is you just step out on them. And the other ones go, I'll get that fucking human for you. You know. Jesus, this is fucking grim. You know, and it's like, what the hell's going on in Scotland? I haven't been in England, London, Swindon. I've never seen any coppers. Millions of people down there. The only time I've seen coppers was uh, when I was at Swindon and the, 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 the motorway, the road, the ring road bit. It's just like strange. So you come up here and the first thing you notice in Edinburgh, so when you're in London, you've got like a, a bit, you come off King's Cross station where the tube is. So if you're going towards it, the place is full of BMWs and Mercedes, S-Class, big motors, you know, Land Rovers, Range Rovers, expensive prestige cars, and they're, ta they're taxis, you know, and it's like, Scotland, you come up, and all you get is coppers, and it's, the, the road's blocked off, so you can't go and pick MD up. And it's like, the fuck's, what are they doing? So the, obviously, to try and explain this to people who don't understand, Indy that, that runs a business will understand it. But my fears are, is that it's not sustainable to do what they're doing in Scotland. Because, um, because, 
So I mean, what they're doing, all these like bike lanes and projects and things that they're doing, it costs money, you know. So to have this kind of woke um, society that you know, it's like I'm going to quote what they say: carbon neutral green economy and such bullshit it's not sustainable so they're printing money to buy all that stuff and to pay all for all that shit and you go oh well it's only digital money so where does it come from so just like invent it somewhere well why don't they do that for the homeless people or why don't they do that for the young people who can't afford to buy houses why don't they pay the deposits for young people to get on the housing ladder? It'd be like, say, £20,000? Why can they not find money for, for that? Or for the drug deaths? For, you know, for lots of things. But they find it for bike lanes, wind farms. And, and bullshit. Quite frankly, bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. So, I need to stop moaning about it. Because I'm starting to sound a bit crazy. Uh, really. So that's a bit of a rant. Uh, I do apologise. And uh, just having been down, you know, in, in London, it, it kind of stands out when you get back here. It does. I reckon at some point we'll have to reverse a lot of the things that they're... When I say they, I mean the, the Scottish government uh, are doing. I mean, we've all seen how bent they are. I mean, look at Nicola Sturgeon. She's bent as fuck. You know? Well, she should be in jail. I, I would, if it was up to me, I'd have her in jail. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, they're they're going to get off of what they've done. And I'm not, I'm not saying for a minute that, you know, that Westminster politicians are, are any, are actually. It's just the whole thing seems a bit um, better, more realistic down there. Uh, Fagan and Wally. Wally. Oh, yeah. So, you pack. Right, so. Um, I think, yeah, I think we're kind of doomed. All these people driving around there are paying for all that, for the tax. The majority of them are working. That's the thing. That's the thing about push bikes. It's not a revenue. It's, it's a um, leisure activity. And in Scotland, because of, because of the, the weather up here, you can't really use it as a business tool. I know somebody will come on and argue that you can, but you can't. You know, in the vast majority of cases you can't. So that's just rubbish. You know, it's just nonsense. Um, so that's, that's what I really noticed coming back here. You know, and I live up here. I've invested all my energies in this place. Living here, I come from here, I'm Scottish. And I'm thoroughly disappointed in it. We've got to be realistic about it, haven't we? I mean, I've got a good life, and a lot of the reason why the woke shit that I'm talking about has kind of helped me, I suppose, in a way. But I just get like, I just get like pissed off how they're shutting everything off, closing everything down. They're trying to stop us from driving. Which would be all very well. What do you want to see? How much? Fucking. Um, the, the, um, somebody waving at me. In a Renault traffic. It's brown. Hmm. That Renault traffic has waved at me before. So I don't know who it is. So please identify your coppers. Identify yourself. And tell me who you are. Um. It was pretty busy today. Uh, so yeah, I would get frustrated if I was like, like I'm frustrated. Wouldn't if I was. 
It's more a case of you get disillusioned with things. But maybe that's just an age thing, that white van was in the wrong lane. An outside lane and cut across. Or it was maybe it was an inside lane and cut over the outside because it was too lazy. Um it's just pretty dire what's happening up here. It all these ideologues with stupid ideas. The worst that is it fundamentally has been caused by um kind of by this notion that we're gonna be an independent nation. It's like get a fucking grip of yourself, that's not gonna happen. It's like I think there's a like a basic misunderstanding of that eventuality or possibility that that if it was a credible notion that it could happen, an idea, you know, like a, a realistic proposition, that I would be for it myself. But but it's not. It's not a realistic proposition. An interesting thing is like Ireland, you know, because they fought, you know, to get away from the British Empire, and it was quite horrendous. Well, it's probably a bit more complex than, than that, but. You know, the, the the IRA and everything and all that sort of thing. It was, a lot of it was funded by Americans. But anyway, and now they're ruled by... They're still ruled by twats from the World Economic Forum. Or the EU. So they've got these weird ideas and we've got... Temp it's all corruption by our politicians. So you go and become independent like what Ireland did. And then the people end up fucked over like anybody else. It's just, you know, I can't see how people can't see that. You know, that's the main cause of. Or maybe I just, I just think about it too much. Maybe I should stop thinking about stuff and just like Mark Freeman. I think about Mark Freeman deals. Has got 17-inch alloys on it. I don't know if it was a Gear X or just a LX with the 17-inch alloys. Um, the, the Mondeo Mark III was quite a sort of modern looking car, but I suppose just like everything else. Everything's got bigger. So... Uh, not so exciting anymore. Pretty busy today, I'd be struggling to go on that bridge today. Well, so there's my wee rant over. So I had a great time down, uh, down in the south. Uh, it was fantastic. I had a few beers, quite a lot of food. It was all by train and taxi and uh, I did a bit of walking, did some videos and the roundabouts. So, so um, it, was, it was good. Uh, it really was. Fair things. So now I'm back up north. Back home, Bonnie, Scotland. Where I belong. But I'm thoroughly disappointed in the place. Because of ideologues and nutters. Whoa! Yeah, get in there. Well, that was quick. Oh. Blue Apple Logistic Solutions. I would like some solutions. And there's me, I'm totally dressed in red. Well, that's probably a good idea, and that way people can see me. Uh, like, safety-wise. This is a lovely roundabout. It is fantastic. Somebody waving at me, oh brilliant! I can see I'm getting famous. Famous lunatic on the roundabout. People don't really look that much because they're too busy trying to see if there's any traffic coming uh, to, to actually worry about it. You want to be a truck driver? You know, you're not going to get much spare time yourself. You're going to be away a lot. Uh, there's John Reed. You're going to be away. Uh, Life's tough on the road, you know. Life is tough on the road. 
Uh, we're waiting for a quiet spell to get back off of here. Yep, it's a quiet spell coming up. Uh, yep, we're getting off here. We're getting off. Whoa! Ah. So what I'd like to do is get some decent pictures of that roundabout partly because I'm using this phone uh, so I'm not actually able to well I'd have to switch it off you know switch it off, switch it back on again So that was a wee truck spotting video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And please remember to like, share and... My God! That's seen better days. <laughs> it's totally rusted. They must have pulled that out of the river or something. Strange. Somebody must be clearing out. I mean, the real uh, spokes were totally rusted off. Right, so that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to take some photographs now. Maybe get some art done this week. Uh, Telford Bridge. Got a few ideas floating around. Still need to find somebody to frame them. So thanks for watching, bye. Love you all.